Hey, so we arrived at Walt Disney World a few days ago, um, me and my wife Vicky, we did the Dopey Challenge in 2020, loved it so much that we thought we'd come back and do it again three years later, so here we are. Um, we came from Scotland, from Glasgow, flew from Manchester to Orlando and foolishly went straight to Magic Kingdom to do some old favourites, Haunted Mansion and Big Thunder Mountain and then watched Enchantment for the first time, which was excellent, never seen that before, so that was really good. Um, today we did a split stay in Hollywood Studios and then Epcot. So Hollywood Studios we did some new rides, um, Smuggler's Run we did and we also did the Runaway Mine Train. Um, came back for a rest and then went to Epcot and did Soarin', uh, Spaceship Earth, Seas with Nemo Friends and watched Harmonious for the first time so that was pretty cool. Um, so we're getting ready for the Dope Challenge, tomorrow we are going to the Expo so we will see how that goes. Fingers crossed it goes alright because there is virtual queues and we're not looking forward to that. We managed to get a virtual queue for Guardians for half nine, so we went to Epcot early. Today was quite a hectic day because of the whole expo and we also wanted to do the parks. This morning we went to Epcot and did Test Track and the Grand Fiesta Tour. But while we are in, in there trying to do that, we registered for the virtual queue for Guardians. And when it came to half eight to register for the virtual queue for the Run Disney merch, it wouldn't let us because we'd already, we were already in a virtual queue. But we didn't realise that so we had to um, leave the Guardians queue and then we're instantly joined, it let us join the Run Disney one. But because we we're four minutes over, it put us in like a boarding group 100. So we had to wait till like 3 p.m. So we did a few rides at Epcot, went to the Expo. The Expo was a lot busier than 2020, um, but there was, it was a constant moving line. Um, so we did, uh, we reg registered first, but it was a really long line, but it was constant, so that was fine. Um, went into the normal merch, that was a constant moving line, that was fine. And then the Expo itself was a little bit chaotic. Um, certain things were completely gone and so yeah it was pretty busy, um, did a lot of walking, too much walking um, and then we did Epcot again this evening to do Guardians which we paid for. Pretty good, um, so yeah we'll see how we go tomorrow, we need to get some sleep now actually, so over and out.
That is the 5k done and dusted. Got a nice medal that moves. It was a good race. It was pretty busy, but it was fantastic. Um, we were in Corral A, so we thought we needed to get there a little bit earlier. So we set our alarms at 2.45. The buses started running from 3, but we got on the bus at 3.15. When we got there, we tried to queue to meet Minnie, but time was ticking and we were still in the queue and we were like, mm, we should probably go to the Corral now. So we got to the Corral just before they started walking hours A to the start. That was about half an hour before, so half four. Um, so it was lucky that we did that actually. And um, we didn't realize how soon it'd be. Uh, we started just after five, which is perfect. Um, the pace was good. We were just running pretty quick because the plan was to meet more characters this year than we did in 2020. So yeah, we're running pretty quick between the characters because we knew we'd be stopping. Um, so the first characters were Tarzan and his mother Nala. Um, so we met those first outside Epcot, then we met Max outside Epcot. And then as we came into Epcot at China, we saw Mushu. So we were like, oh my God, we need to meet Mushu. So we ran to go meet Mushu. And then after we didn't meet Abu and Gina, because uh, they had a massive queue. And then towards Canada, it was Chippendale. So we met Chippendale and then finished. We got our medal and we got our little Run Disney Bento box of goodies. And then at the end, we went to meet Minna we didn't meet at the start, and then the OG Mickey. After we chilled out at the hotel, we went to Magic Kingdom for the afternoon just to do some decent old rides like Carousel of Progress, Tiki Room, Jungle Cruise. And now we're back at the hotel at 8 p.m. getting ready for the 10K tomorrow morning, 2.45 alarm. So it's um, Thursday, just on the 10k. It was really good. It was less busy than the 5k. We still didn't meet any characters in the morning before the start because um, we're in Corral A. So we thought we don't have time. We better just get into the Corral. Um, we went a bit earlier, so we managed to get a little bit further forward, which was pretty good. It worked to our advantage, I think, initially. Um, so as we're running through, it was quite open. We met a few characters, so straight away, the first character, I've got a list, Hercules, that was pretty cool. And then after that, we went to Princess Atta, and then couldn't resist Scrooge McDuck, had to meet Scrooge McDuck. Um, Lumiere was in France, we thought that was pretty cool, because you never see Lumiere, so we thought we'd have to meet Lumiere. Um, there's a lot of ducks coming up now, um, so it was Daisy Duck that we saw just at 
the start of Future World, and then after that, Darkwing, which we had to meet. It was a short queue when we got there, but by the time we were leaving, it was getting longer. But the technique that we're using is we'd um, run past a few, meet one, run past a few, meet one. So we kept doing it that way, and that seemed to work really well. Um, yeah, so Darkwing was the final character we met in the race, but after the race, we knew that the starting four would be there again, so we thought we'd queue for the starting four. So we started to queue for Fat Cat, but about 10 minutes before we got to him, they changed it to Monte Monterey Jack. Um, I didn't get a video of Monterey Jack. And then after that, we went to Launchpad McQuack. After that, we went to Animal Kingdom to do Narvi River Journey and Kilimanjaro Safaris. And here is the medal with the spinner. Nice and early tomorrow morning. We are in Magic Kingdom. Hey, so we are just back at the room. It's 7.45 p.m. and we're pretty tired. Half marathon this morning was very good. Um, it was the same time we got up. We got there at the same time, but we didn't bother even attempting to meet any characters. We just started walking. By the time we got to the where, where we were in Corral B, we'd done almost 5,000 steps. So it was a pretty long walk and it was bloody cold. Um, so we had jackets on, but now tomorrow, because we've got a foil blanket at the end, we'll just take the foil blankets and use them. But yeah, it was pretty cold at the start. Um, we met 17 characters today, uh, too many to name. There were some good ones though that we hadn't met before, like Jack and Sally. Uh, Hades was there, which was cool, that we'd never met before. There was quite a few actually. Lotso was brilliant. So we just tried to meet the ones that we hadn't met in the previous two days. Running through Magic Kingdom, excellent, always is. Absolutely fantastic, the support there, the crowd, brilliant all the volunteers fantastic um, the teacups were on 
we were in the queue for Tweedledee and Tweedledum and there's people going on the teacups. Even some people left the queue to go on it, but um, we didn't do that. But I did get a clip of that happening, so that was cool. Queues were shorter, so we met more characters, which was quite positive, and we're hoping tomorrow will be similar. Um, tomorrow for the marathon, we're going to try and meet characters we haven't met before. Again, uh, just we don't really want any duplicates. I think a good tip that we found out is just take a carrier bag with you in your pack. So when you finish, you get t you get two two bottles, you get a little bento box of food, a banana. So you get a lot of goodies. So it's good to have a carrier bag a carrier bag to keep all that in, so it's not loose. Um, came back, got showered, and then went out to Epcot to ride a few rides and just take it super easy and go to Space 220, which was really good. Apart from the fact that I dropped my last slice of carrot cake on the floor, so. Hey, so that is the marathon done, which is the goofy challenge done, which is the dopey challenge done. So all four races over four days. Uh, the hardest thing I think about the races and today is the wake up, because you're just getting up super early every single day for four days. We got up at the same time, 2.45, got the bus about quarter past three, um, got to the start about half three, um, and then immediately just went to the starting corrals because it's such a long walk, so we didn't loiter around today, we just went straight to the start. Um, we went into Corral B, we used the port loose before that, and we had our foil blankets on, because it was cold in the morning, but there was a yellow warning for the race that it was going to get really hot later on. Uh, so we didn't take any extra jackets or anything, we had our packs on with vests and stuff, um, just with our nutrition and active route watering. The race started at 5 o'clock, I think we got through the start at about five or six in Corral B. We weren't at the front. 
Uh, we skipped the first few characters because it was really packed. And then we started meeting characters from Oogie Boogie, which is probably the best character. I thought it was brilliant. Oh, so, no, Sebastian was the best. We met the same number of characters that we met in the half marathon, which was 17. Um, the reason we didn't meet more is because it's ones that we'd previously met and I think they were sticking to the 90s theme so it was the same sort of characters like Darkwing and Scrooge McDuck and those sorts of ones. But uh, Vicky really liked the Pooh characters. I really liked the Toy Story ones. Um, the rest did get really hot. Pretty hot actually around Blizzard, Blizzard Beach. We weren't hammering the pace, we weren't really looking at the pace actually, we were just kind of running between characters and between waters and then we'd take walking breaks when we wanted some water or when we stopped to meet a character. But the queues were short, so short for the characters this time, especially towards the end that you were in and out, you know, it was quick, especially at like the boardwalk area with Gina and Abu, it was super fast. Um, but yeah, we finished uh, an, an hour faster than 2020, surprisingly, I didn't expect that. We got our medal. Um, we got three medals actually, but this is just the dopey medal. Um, it does spin. I'm not going to be able to spin it one-handed. Um, yeah, we met loads of characters, but there is too many to name, so I will hopefully insert a picture of the characters uh, here. Then after the race, we came back to the room to freshen up and then Went to Magic Kingdom and absolutely hammered the park. Uh, did Space Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, Haunted Mansion, uh, It's a Small World, and then last minute reservation at Crystal Palace, just because it was a buffet and we knew we could pig out uh, and meet some extra characters just to get the usual photos. We met Mickey Mouse as well with all our six medals because that is a good photo opportunity. So we, we did that as well. Now we are back at the resort getting packed up because we are flying to Disneyland California tomorrow for the first time. So that's exciting. Cheers. Just a final outro to show you the medals that we got and all the long sleeves that you get for doing the Run Disney races. So here's the 5k one. I was running along it. 10k one, which is our personal favorite because the acorn spins. Half marathon one. Is there everything on the back of that one? Goofy's race and a half. You probably can't make out what they are, but you can see them spinning behind. Since I did it. Finally. The Dopey Challenge. So this spins. 10 years. Did it. And now the tops that you get for registering. So the first one, we've got the 5k long sleeve. 10k with Chippendale. Half Marathon, my personal favourite colour. Marathon. Um, interestingly, it doesn't have anything on the sleeves. Like in previous years, it had all the parks. All it has on now is Run Disney on the sleeve and Walt Disney World 50. It doesn't have the parks like they used to. Goofy's race and a half for doing the half marathon and the full marathon. And finally, Dopey Challenge. This colour wears a lot better than the 2021 in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's it. Awesome. Thank you for watching.